Hey guys, it's Brad from Bushcraft Ridge. Absolute veteran tagged me in a dump your ruck surprise inspection video, and <laughs> I'm not inspection ready. Actually, right now, uh, my whole forerunner <laughs> is my rucksack because I've been working on getting the, the cabin subfloor framed and, and the joists hung. So my stuff is kind of everywhere, pulled out of a bunch of different packs also is stuff thrown around there. Um, I've already done this pack before, my, my uh, rucksack, my big rucksack. So I'm gonna post a link to the video where I go through everything that's in that. We're actually gonna go through my um, day pack here and see what's in there. And this, I use this as a, uh, well, a day pack, really. I think there's gonna be like some, some cutting, I don't know what's in it off the top of my head, but I take it when I go on short hikes on my land. My land's 10 acres, so I, I can go all over it multiple times in a day. I'm not getting somewhere and getting lost, um, but there's gonna be some stuff in there that would allow me to, if I did get lost or get hurt, take shelter and survive. Okay, how much of this can you guys see? All right, you see I keep it pretty stuffed. Um, let's go ahead and, I'm not gonna go in any special order. Let's just open her up and see. Am I sure the camera's recording? All right. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, by the way, um, oh my goodness, absolute veteran, uh, shoot me your mailing address, uh, mailing address in Germany, and I will get you a Bushcraft Ridge tactical patch in the mail. All right. Oh, what would you put on the top pouch outside? This is the cat, combat action tourniquet. Combat action tourniquet? I think that's what it stands for. Um, extra roll of dressing and some medical stuff, gauze, other things. That's all that's in there. Down here, we have, oh, oh, look what we have here. The Sum Life emergency radio and phone charger with solar power and crank handle. Uh, I did a review on this thing. Um, I charged my phone with it, and you can listen to the radio. It's got a flashlight. Eh, check out the review. You'll see what all it has. It also has a really loud siren, but I don't remember how to turn it on. <laughs> Anyways, check out the review. All right, so in this pouch, we've got that with a cable to charge the phone. We have some uh, number 36 tarred bank line in there. We have uh, a mini e-tool, entrenching tool with pick. I think we all know what that's, I think we all know what uh, this is for. Uh, and then some cordage, some bright orange paracord, and then some red and some OD green, some different paracords uh, for hanging ridge lines and stuff like that. Also have some different carabiners. These are not climbing weight carabiners. Um, these are those figure nines that I've shown in other videos about how I do my ridge line for my tarp. And then um, this is a different type of figure nine. That's all there. Let's go ahead and move to the next pouch where we have I, I love this axe, man. I think it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link to my store below and you can, I mean, you see a lot of different stuff that I have, but uh, I just put a lanyard with a bead on it. Uh, also in this axe, it has a saw in the handle. And this is usually, I know you see me with that Gerber hatchet a lot and I'm saying axe, but I mean hatchet, it's got a, a little saw in the handle too. Um, you see me with that Gerber hatchet a lot, but this is probably still my favorite. Uh, 
Here's that Fujiwara that you guys see me with. This thing cuts like a monster, and I think it was 10 bucks. Came with two blades. Yeah, it's a pull saw. Uh, pair of gloves. Just some old tactical gloves, padded knuckles. The old bushcrafting knife that I used to use before I got my custom from US Tactical Edge. I must have sharpened this recently because this thing's still sharp. This is that $25 bushcraft knife. Bushmaster Survival that I did a video on a while back. Alright, what else do we have? So that was that was all my cutting stuff in there. My gloves and my cutting stuff. Cutting tools. Um, let's see what we have next. Where are my zippers? Here we go. This guy opens all the way down. And alright, so over here in this. I usually keep cotton balls as tinder. Yep, that's what's in there. And ferro rod, so here's all my good fire starting stuff. Uh, I got a ferro rod here. Tinder. is a huge bag of uh, dryer lint that my wife saved for me. Dryer lint is probably better than the cotton balls for tinder. Um, then I also have some different stuff. Some of this is stuff that I actually dehydrated. Um, but that I can, there's some, there's some straw like stuff in here to make bird's nests with. And then there are some wood chips of different sizes in case it's wet weather. And you see, I love to carry this stuff, uh, because if it's wet, then it's just easier to get my fire going that way. I have a life straw right here little nesting cups, excuse me, that I uh, put baling wire on. I think this is uh, Stanley. So this is Stanley nesting cups that I cups. I put baling wire on it so that I could hang it over a fire. I just drilled holes and then put that baling wire in there. But you know what? All of my utensils, all of my uh, eating utensils, where's my little K-Bar spork? <laughs> so I guess I'd be eating with my fingers. Then I have some plastic bag, plastic trash bags. These are big contractor bags that are like really durable and that I could throw my whole pack in. And then this are just some regular garbage bags. I have uh, Absolute Veteran, you'll know exactly what this is. Um, this is a military, oh my dog's barking to get in, he's going to be annoying if I don't let him in, um, poncho, <laughs> you wait for it, so this is the army poncho that, <laughs> I, I don't know when this thing went into, uh, maybe like Vietnam, I don't know, this thing's been around for a while, and this is a dry bag with <laughs> extra this stuff. So this is this is a smaller dry bag, which is what I really should be carrying in here, not both of those bags, but this is a smaller dry bag with more um, of that type of material. And then my Camelback is in here also. Did I tell you guys I weighed this and it came out to 22 pounds? Let's see how full the Camelback is. Camelback is... Mm, Half, because it's the narrow half. A little more than half full. And so the whole bag, well, comes in at 22 pounds. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and leave this out for the thumbnail shot. That's what we got. Thank you for the shout out. Thank you for tagging me. Like I said, get me your mailing address and I'll get one of the Bushcraft Ridge tactical patches to you. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you on the ridge.